I'm here with Josh George from Smoke and Jay's Barbecue to talk about his restaurant. Thanks, Josh, for being here today. Thanks for having me, Wendy. I'm Wendy Carter, and we're talking with Josh today to bring exposure and awareness to the community that his restaurant is still open during this time of social distancing and encourage you to support them and order their carryout food. Josh, tell us a little bit about your business. So, Wendy, uh, I am one of the owners of Smoke and Jay's Barbecue. We're a new barbecue restaurant on Midland Road, and you know we're just trying to serve some some good slow smoke barbecue to the people of Poway and the surrounding San Diego. So, how did your business get started? We actually started uh, about three years ago when my brother uh, decided that he wanted to pursue his lifelong dream of opening a restaurant, and the first step of that was to start a mobile food business. He, uh, when he first got to San Diego, he started trying eating some barbecue food around here and decided that there might be an opportunity for him to come in here, get a smoker, introduce some really good slow smoke barbecue and, and make a go at it. So I, I gave him a little bit of a loan for his first, very first smoker. He hooked it up to his SUV and dragged it all over San Diego County, going to farmers markets, fairs, festivals, eventually offices and apartments. Uh, dragging the smoker out, throwing up a tent next to it, and serving some delicious food straight from the smoker. Well, you guys have created quite a buzz around town and um, have some delicious barbecue, so we're so glad that you're here. We're thrilled. The, the, the community has just welcomed us with open arms from day one. The minute we cut the tape on our new restaurant, we had a line out the door, and the people of Poway have just been absolutely incredible, the most supportive customers that we ever could have imagined. Now you have quite a background, Josh. You were in the Olympics. Tell us about that. Yeah, so uh, prior to, to working with Smoke and Jays, my main job was as a professional athlete. I've been a wheelchair racer, professional wheelchair racer uh, and marathoner since 2004. I've competed in four Paralympic Games and I'm actually training for my fifth. This summer I was supposed to be heading to Tokyo, but now it's gonna be next summer. Uh, to compete in what will probably be my last Paralympic Games as, as an athlete. Tell us how uh, COVID-19 has impacted your business. COVID has been crazy. I mean, it's been affecting everyone to various degrees. Uh, for us, we were, we were fortunate in that our restaurant was already set, out, set up to do a lot of takeout. However, we were doing it the way most barbecue restaurants do it, where you have a line out the door and you sell your food to first come, first serve until you sell out. Uh, but once COVID struck and you weren't allowed to have lines anymore, or six feet of spacing, our line would be two blocks away. Um, so we had to, to scramble, make some changes. We started doing call-in orders. Uh, we started doing online ordering and we partnered with a lot of the third-party apps like Grubhub and Uber Eats uh, and DoorDash to, to start offering some of our items on their services. Uh, but we've also, you know, we've had, we've hit some, some snags in the road as well. We uh, keep hitting different supply chain issues to get our raw materials, our raw meats uh, and some of our produce. Um, we originally, we, we had to remove collard greens from the menu because the greens we needed were getting hard to find. Uh, now we're hitting a meat shortage. So every week it's sort of a, a scramble in a game. Every day really, it's a scramble to get the, the food that we need to be able to serve our customers. So you have a, you're have you basically offering your full service menu um, except for uh, the third party uh, delivery companies? Exactly, exactly. If you order online via our website or if you come into our restaurant, we have our full menu, it's available. Sometimes we might sell out items a little bit earlier just because we can't buy as much as we used to be able to, but we still have the full menu. And then on the third party apps, we're offering a sandwich menu and our pecan pie. And how can people place online orders? What's your website address? Uh, everyone is more than welcome to come to our website. It's smokingjaysrealbbq.com. And there you can you know, read about our, our history. You can see some pictures of the delicious food and you could then place your, your online order. And I did want to mention that there's a Facebook group where you can get and share information on businesses that are open during this time, and that's at Poway RB Scripps Ranch COVID-19 Support. Josh, where can everyone find you? Oh man, they could find us at our restaurant on Midland Road. We're at 14035 Midland Road. 
in between Midland Elementary School and the Hamburger Factory in Old Poway Village. Uh, we got a cute little spot there. We're actually doing some renovations next door. So as soon as COVID lifts, as soon as all the restrictions lift, we're going to have a dining room finally for people to be able to come in and sit down. But until then, we're doing takeout, delivery. If you want to get curbside, just give me a call and we'll bring it out to your car. Well, Josh, you and your brother um, have something real special there, and I'm, I'm so glad to have spoken with you today. So thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for having us, Wendy. And thank you for watching. I hope you're going to visit uh, Smoke and Jay's uh, as well as all the other local businesses uh, to help them during this time. Uh, they need our support. So you stay safe, you stay safe, stay healthy, and stay positive. Uh, we're all in this together.